Hi, boaters. Have you ever heard of marine composting toilets? Today, we'll explore what they are, how they work, their benefits, and some of their disadvantages. Let's get started. Marine composting toilets are considered type three marine sanitation devices. They meet U.S. Coast Guard no discharge requirements and can be installed on a boat of any length. These toilets are entirely self-contained and waterless, serving as a convenient sewage waste disposal option. Let's dive deeper into how they work. Structurally, this system is designed to separate liquids from solids. It has a urine diversion system and a handle-operated trap door for solids. Solids sit in a removable lower chamber and are mixed with peat moss, sawdust, or coconut husk fibers. Liquids sit in a separate removable chamber. Bacteria in the solids chamber break down the waste by consuming nutrients such as carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. The heat from these reactions warm the waste in the solids chamber, leaving behind a black, odor-free powder. By using a paper bag, you can easily dispose of the solids in the trash. Do not dump the liquids overboard. Simply empty them in a porta potty dump station or in a public toilet. To find a porta potty dump station near you, download the Pump Out Nav app. There are many benefits to composting toilets versus conventional boat toilets. Boaters agree they love these systems. Some say that it is probably the best modification they have made to their boat, and it's no surprise. First, they are easy to clean. Once you've used them, you'll realize there is not much of a yuck factor. Depending on the type of composting toilet you have and how often you use it, the liquids are typically emptied once every one to three days, and the solids from two people only once a month. Because of their simple design, the next time you plan on cruising the seas for long periods, you will not be stressing out about parts breaking. Contrary to popular belief, Composting toilets have less offensive odors than regular toilets. Since the solids and the liquids are separated, it doesn't create a typical sewage smell. Without that strong, foul odor, there's really no need to use deodorizing chemicals that can be hazardous to the environment. Since these systems are waterless, there's no plumbing or stinky pipes required. Less complexity means you save time and money on installation, maintenance, and repairs. Lastly, composting toilets are considerably lighter in weight than conventional boat toilets. One boater found that it replaced their 150-pound system with only 35 pounds. But is this really the right choice for you? Composting toilets do not decompose the solids at high enough temperatures to eliminate all of the harmful bacteria present. This means that, technically, marine composting toilets do not create compost for use in garden beds. Compost from human waste can be produced and used for plants, but only after composting in an outdoor heat at the right temperature and conditions. Some composting toilets are taller than most, which may make them harder to install and access. Maintaining a semi-dry environment in the solids chamber is a key component of the system. Making sure solids and liquids are properly separated may take some practice for users. Some composting units have a vent fan to circulate air, so electricity usage may increase. And lastly, small bugs could enter the solids chamber from outside air vents. To prevent this from happening, it's important to routinely check that vent screens are not damaged. This simple system of a marine composting toilet delivers an eco-friendly and convenient way to satisfy your waste management needs. Conventional boat toilets and composting toilets are considerably different. If you're in the market to replace or repair your current sanitation system, check the information available to you online and familiarize yourself with your options.